Hi guys and welcome back to my video. This video is going to be for a housework day and I'm cooking a roast dinner so it needs to be effective and still pretty. So please keep watching, please like, subscribe, comment and share and until next time, thank you. So guys what we want to do is literally sit down and just chill out. <sighs> Don't I feel good? No seriously though. Take your glasses off if you wear glasses. And I like to brush my hair through and wipe my face with a baby wipe. Some toner. Then after that, I like to go in with my Nivea moisturizer. This is just the original. I'm not really fussed on moisturizers really as long as they don't make me break out i'm cool with anything so just dab it on the face and rub it in and then come back to the next scene after that i go in with my nyx primer um this is i think this is photo finish or it just correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not sure, but this will help keep your makeup on for longer when you're sweating in the kitchen and doing that housework. So dab that around your face, rub it in and let it dry. Once you've done that, get your foundation that you use. I am using this 24 hour Rimmel makeup foundation. And I'll just dab that around my face and then go in with my artiste brush just to spread it around. And then go in again with my damp beauty blender. Remember, like I said, damp beauty blender will make sure you don't put too much on your face. And it will spread it out evenly and create a flawless finish. Once I've done that, I will go in with, I would usually go in with a concealer, but I have run out of concealer. And the other ones I've got are not that good, so I like to go in with a 24-hour flawless effect. And this is by number 7, and this is not the airbrush one, but it's the full coverage one. And I just do a triangle shape underneath the eyes and the bits I'd like to highlight and conceal. So that would be around my mouth, my nose, and like I said, my eyes. And once done that, go in with a damp beauty blender and blend it all out. Now we've done that, we're going to go in with a translucent powder. This has got a little bit of a colour to it, so it mine's not that translucent. And I will set or bake my foundation to make sure that it stays on for longer and... It's a matte finish because I don't like being shiny. So we will just dab that around our face and brush out with a stippling brush and make sure everything's blended. Because we don't want to be sweating 
but I have to have my eyebrows on or I do not feel like a human. So we're going to just use the Anastasia dip brow and the brush with the spoolie to fill out the eyebrows. You just literally brush your eyebrows through and then dip the product less is more. So just start from the outer corner of your eyebrow and work your way in with light strokes and filling in the whole of your eyebrow to your desired look. I also go in with a lighter pencil at the front to give it a more ombre feel. Remember once you've done this to brush through your eyebrows or else they will not match and they will not blend together, they will not look real. So please girls remember to brush those eyebrows. Now we've done that, I like to go in with, this is an Eve palette, and just carve out the hollows of my cheeks, my forehead, my nose, my chin, and my eyes, just to make my face look slimmer and more dimensional. So remember, the darker you go, the more you're going to conceal or make something look smaller than it is. If you're going to highlight, it will make it look bigger. So remember, dark to hide, light to find. Once we have done that, we will blend it all out and make it look all pretty. We're going to go in with, this is just a Rimmel bronzer, just to warm up my contour and blend that all out and add a little bit of blush, with CK, I think it's called Plum Brush, blush, sorry, and going to blend that out too. As we're going for a more neutral look, I will just literally 
prime my eyelids with this is an Avon primer and I will line the top of my lashes and then go in with my lower lashes I will use a coloured this is a blue from Avon underneath my tear waterline and then I will go in with just a normal mascara and make sure that every one of my lashes are covered once I've done that I will add another layer this is all these mascaras I use is Avon Shock and then I think this is a Rimmel no this is an Avon Bright Shock so I will use that and then that's it As we're doing a neutral eye, I will go in with this is Kylie Jenner Dulce Candy and I will just line my lips and then use the liquid lipstick and then we're done. I will then spray my face with a setting spray just to make sure the makeup stays on for longer.